low speeds, where reduced drag would be the majority of it, the designer will attack the <coughs> reduced drag element. At low speeds, the parasite drag element isn't so important. But the induced drag is a big element of it. So low speed aeroplanes tend to have a high aspect ratio win to reduce the induced drag bit. There you go. There's a pretty little picture of a glider with quite a high aspect ratio. Okay. What about this fella? Very low. Very, nice. very, very low aspect ratio. In such a case, one and a half chords in, then a huge amount of the wing is going to be affected by this. So when we press the three-dimensional airflow button, then a lot of the wing is now going to be uh, 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 subjected to this increased downwash. So the wing as a whole has to come up to a much higher angle of attack to compensate. Tip tanks would help though, right? Because they would. Uh... Well, what are the tip tanks doing then? Yeah, it is extra fuel, Reduce but tip tanks, the little winglets, they're all getting in the way of air spilling from the bottom to the top, which is the primary cause of the problems in the first place. What are the little fins at the back of the tanks for? Uh, uh, I mean, which they weren't there, what were they doing? I reckon <coughs> that they probably initially trialled this uh, that's just a straight bomb cigar. So they put these stabilising fins on there to try and pull that flutter right, okay? That's just a guess. Just a guess. Okay, so we've got very, very uh, 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 low aspect ratio here. But the problem there is that the induced drag element at low speeds is significant. Significant. But what kind of speed is this thing designed to go at? Oh, very, very high speed. Where the induced drag bit ain't so important. So what they're doing now is giving more priority to reducing the parasite drag coefficient by making it nice and pointy and slim. You're going to hardly see anything of this aeroplane coming towards you. That's Sorry, a quick question. What, where, what speed do we go to to class? What's the answer going to be? No, 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 I'm saying like, he said low speed and high speed, like where's the barrier to say? Where? Everything in the designer's life is a trade-off. Yeah. What's this fella going to be like at low speed? Okay. Right, no, but I'm saying what speed do you class high speed at? Like 200 knots, 300 well, onwards? This is now going to depend on the drag curve. So if the designer's got an idea in mind for what they want their aeroplane to look like. Mm -hmm. So they'll start designing it, and before they get anywhere near sticking bits of metal together, they're gonna go through all of these calculations and a lot more. They will these days all computer modeling. Okay. And what would be the effect of a slight tweak on the aspect ratio? 